Hi guys, welcome to another video. A short guide to Walthamstow. Before this dissolves into the main video, which I made a week ago, Chris, that's OB Sig Reviews, is back. He's from Ireland, and there's a link down there to his channel. Quality work, quality reviews. Go and check him out and sub him. Enjoy the rest of the video. Stay lit. Hi guys, I decided to make a film of whereabouts I live, which is Walthamstow in East London. Walthamstow is about nine and a half miles from the West End, in the East End of London. <clears throat> it's not the richest borough, it's not the poorest, it's about in the middle. At the moment I'm over a place called Snaresbrook, which is about 20 minutes walk from my house. And it's the first place I met my mum. My birth mum that was. And that was on the 10th of April 2000. I'm going to take you on a little tour of Walthamstow over the next... This film will be made over two days. And I hope you enjoy it. In the film, I am going to put a bit about our market, a bit about our cinema, which is in, very interesting, even though I say so myself. This place, of course, Awesome Soul Village, and the William Morris Gallery, and the Awesome Soap Museum. I'm going to, this clip's going to dissolve into a scene of Snares Rock, and I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Stay lit. Okay guys, things you can do in Walthamstow. It's not the sightseeing capital of London, but we've got a couple of things. First up is the William Morris Gallery. It was set in a house built in the 1740s, and William Morris was a famous interior designer and designs wallpapers. And William Morris wallpaper is still made today. He was family home from 1848 to 1856 and William Morris was founded the company and his son took it over and believed in treating his workers well and he also ended up a bit of a socialist. For all information about the William Morris Gallery, along with all the other things I show you in this film, are in the description down below. The gallery itself reopened in 2012 and after a major refurbishment and it's a cool place. Unfortunately it's on the other side of Waltham, so to where I live, so to save time I just put together a 30 second clip and be back with information about my cinema. Say it.
Okay, guys, we have had a cinema in Walthamstow since 1887, and inside is a, one of the largest spaces in London if it had been kept open because unfortunately it closed in 2003 due to legal angling. And it holds 2,000 people in the upstairs screen. And what follows is going to be a short film about it. I am then going to tell you about the history of it and how, among other things, the Beatles played there back in the 60s. So enjoy the film. It's about 30 seconds. And we'll be back with a bit of history after that. Okay guys, cinema opened as Victorian Music Hall in 1887 with spaces for dances, concerts and plays. A film was first shown at Victoria, as it became known, in 1896, the year of the birth of cinema, leading to the building to be converted into the area's first dedicated cinema in 1907. In 1930 it was rebuilt as the Granada, the building you saw in the film. And one of the chain's largest and most lavish supermarkets, so super cinemas, with 2,700 seats in its original form. Alfred Hitchcock, the famous filmmaker, grew up near Bible and so, and was one of his early inspirations was films at a cinema. He then, in the 60s, decided, Granada decided to have pop concerts there. And among the artists played are Jerry Lee Lewis, the Rolling Stones, the Beatles, the Kinks, Little Richard, Gene Vincent, Scott Walker, The Who, Chuck Berry, Buddy Holly, and Roy Orbison. So if you imagine them playing in that cinema which you saw the film over, that's what happened. The vast men venue was remodelled as a three screen cinema in 1973, but it kept all its decorative features. In 1989 it was acquired by Canon Cinemas and in 2000 it became an Odeon. The Odeon management decided it was too old and because everyone goes to multiplexes, wasn't suitable. So what they did was they sold it to a local businessman who named it EMD. Olean put a clause that said he could not show English language films. The local people and the council was outraged and in April 2001, the clause was removed by Odeon. Unfortunately, it still didn't make that much of a living and the guy sold it to a church called the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. Now, these people are horrible, extreme religious fanatics. And the council has constantly turned down their application to turn it into a church, citing lack of local parking, amongst other things, and it should be retained as a cinema. So the cinema remains closed today, depriving the power of Walthamstow and Walton Forest, our local council, place to go and see the film. It's a grade two listed building, so they can't do much with it. So at the moment it lies empty. A couple of years ago there was a couple of waves in there and there's quite a lot of damage in there I believe. But that's the history of our cinema. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this film. 
this is day one. Tomorrow, I'm going to take you up the original bit of Walthamstow, that's Walthamstow Village, and this bit of film is going to continue to that bit. Stay lit. Hi guys, welcome to the Vestry Museum. The house itself was built in 1730 and it's been a museum in Walthamstow since 1931. Various features which we'll follow in a minute include toys and games, the Brimage car which is one of the first cars built in the UK and also prison cell and various things. Hope you enjoy. There's a link down there if you want to find out more about Vestry Museum. The entry's free and enjoy. Okay guys, that was the Vestry Museum. I'm just going to have a little wander around the village and take a couple of videos. You've got the East 17 restaurant and the Walter Winning restaurant, which is one of the best places to eat. You've got the church, some almshouses, and finally going to end up in the pub. Hope you enjoyed the video. In the description, there's a link to a silent video I made yesterday over Whips Cross. The busy bit of Awesome Stone, which the market etc is about 10 minutes from here, walking. This is the posh bit of Awesome Stone, the original bit and that's about it. See you in a couple of clips time. Stay lit. Hi guys, as you can see I'm in the nags head, Pint of Kurzel, beautiful Czech beer. And thanks for watching this film. I'm waiting for friends, they're turning up in about five minutes. In the description you see links to the William Morris Gallery, the Save Our Cinema, Vestry Museum, E17. The best pub, sorry, best restaurant. This place, the Nags Head, the best pub. And also links to other videos I've done, like Day in the Life of Me, Guide to Berlin, Guide to Bike Writing, etc. etc. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're ever in the area, check Walton Star out. Thanks for subscribing, personal messaging, commenting, rating my videos. Stay lit guys and thanks for watching.
Yeah, I think it's because she doesn't feel like it. I think it's because she doesn't feel like it.